What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great hump day. Hope you're getting over the hump. Hope you're humping or whatever you're doing on hump day. I hope it is coming true for you. We have some interesting news here. Des Bryant was at practice today. We talking about practice. And he gave the wide receivers a jean jacket with their numbers on on the back of it. This is the nice thing about being a Dallas Cowboy. You know, it's kind of like being in a fraternity. Once you're in, you are in for life. And it's always great to have those guys come back and mentor the team. What I want to talk about right now is I've gotten out of my emotions, okay? I've let it all out because, you know, we as Cowboy fans, we want to see the team do great things. You know, whether you're a Dak lover, Dak hater, or whatever, all of us want to see the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. And we all just basically have a different way that we believe um, of getting there. We just do. And the thing about this is, is who knows who's right? Who knows? But I know one thing. Winning the Super Bowl is not an easy thing. It's just not, you know, there's 32 teams that try every year and only one of them gets it. And you've seen in the past years, basically the same teams have been winning more of them than not. Kansas City, New England, and so on. You almost have to have everything go perfect. It's not enough just to have a lot of great players and everything else. You need calls to go your way. You know, right now, you could look and almost say, maybe the Eagles are a team of destiny this year. Because they've had games where they played like ass, ass. And somehow still find the way to win, be it against some of the lesser talent in the NFL. And sometimes that's what it takes. Sometimes it takes being in a division where everybody stinks, like uh, the Detroit Lions, who literally have five cake games left because there's no other quarterbacks in the division. And sometimes you get lightning in a bottle like the Eagles did, although they didn't win it. But they made the right moves in bringing in free agents and making trades. Um, you can't tell me that without A.J. Brown that the Eagles are in the Super Bowl because Jalen Hurts is just a great quarterback. The reality is, is because they got A.J. Brown in that trade, that that made that team go to a whole nother level in their offense. And right now, their offense is keeping them on life support because their defense stinks. That's not to say that they won't come around later on, but right now, it's the offense taking up for the defense. So looking at this, Yesterday with the trade deadline, we all are looking and saying, let's get some, some shiny new pieces here for the Cowboys. Let's go ahead and bring in some more talent because we're a little thin in some places. And that's what we want to do. And this is more of the fantasy football ilk. See, it used to be trade deadline day would come and go and there might be one trade, two trades or Nobody even think about the trade deadline. But because of fantasy football where week to week you pull a guy in, you get rid of him, you trade him for somebody else, and you plug him in. The reality in football is this. Think about this right now. The Cowboys played against the Rams on Sunday, right? Today's Wednesday. They just got on the field today. No practice Monday and Tuesday. Practice today. They've got... D-Law out. They got Michael Gallup out. They got J. Ron Curse out. They got CeeDee Lamb that are having a veteran rest day. So you got this day is not the full team. And when you think of practice, practice in the NFL is not like practice when we were in high school after we played. You know, Monday we're out there full go, full pads, tackling. Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday's a walkthrough and Friday's game day. It ain't like that in the NFL. Wednesday is the first practice. Thursday is the only real practice that you have, full go, if you have a full go one. But technically, after week 11, you can't have any more padded practices. Friday is a walkthrough recovery day. Saturday, travel day, maybe a walkthrough. And Sunday, you play the game. So when you bring in new players, the problem is getting them up to speed to what you're doing. And if it's a position like, say, an offensive lineman, if it's a position like wide receiver or quarterback, 
it takes time to get the playbook and understand it. And so you may be able to get people that have more talent, but you don't have the time to get them up to speed. You know, in the case of, say, a Von Miller, of course, it's like, go get the quarterback. So it's a little easier than it is for the wide receiver to just walk in and know your system. And so from the standpoint of that with the Cowboys, I think that's part of the equation. They look at it and say, we like our guys that have been here that understand <clears throat> the playbook. The other part of this equation, <clears throat> boy, my mouth is dry. The other part of this equation is the team chemistry. And this is where I think the Joneses wanted to make a lot of moves. They wanted to make moves, but they didn't also want to pay too much. Everybody that they targeted are still with the same team. Still with the same teams. They didn't get moved. So you look at that from the standpoint and say, well, maybe the price was just too high for all of them and the teams really didn't want to trade them. But also the other part of the equation is bringing in guys that are hired assassins that may not play as well as the guys that you have. They may have more talent, but now maybe you upset the chemistry that's going on in the locker room. And it may be that Mike McCarthy looks at it and says, you know what? We lost Diggs, but we got a guy, Deron Bland, who now has more pick sixes than anybody else in recent memory. That you get guys that step up. And they may feel that, yeah, some of the offensive linemen we have may not be that great of offensive linemen, but they know the play calls and they know the plays. Because you bring a guy in, you plug him in the offensive line, and he misses the assignments because he doesn't know which way he's supposed to go. That's worse than having a guy who's maybe not the best of blockers. That's going to miss a few. And so as the fantasy football in you that says trade Dak and just bring somebody else in. It doesn't work that way. Even with Trey Lance being here for several weeks, he still doesn't probably know all the play calls. And he hasn't had time to actually practice with the guys in the number one situation. And this is probably why the Cowboys, that and Jerry Jones is cheap, um, didn't make any moves. And it may be Mike McCarthy said to the Joneses, hey, hey, I know you want to bring some other guys in here. But we're five and two. We've shown that we can blow people out, that we can play if we're on our game with everybody. And what he's going to say is, we just need to tweak what we're doing. You see what we did against that front against uh, the, the Chargers. You see what we did against the Rams in that front. You know, we, we're making strides. We're getting better. And if we continue in that direction with the offense, we don't need anybody else here to upset the balance. And that's probably the real reason why we didn't make any trades. Teams that the guys we targeted didn't really want to trade them or they asked way too much because it's not like they went to other teams. They really do believe in the guys that they have and knowing that they know the plays and have been here long enough to understand the philosophy. And three, tweaking and getting everybody on the same page with what we're doing. We're having a hard time for those guys who've been here getting it all down pat. Bringing somebody else cold in is going to be that much harder. So there you have it. The reasons, the real reasons that the Cowboys didn't make any trades yesterday. All right, good people. I appreciate you guys as always, and I'll see you soon. Peace.